Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Jari Views back with another video and we're taking a look at iOS 13 and its hidden features. There are a ton of them. Of course, on the keynote, Apple will show only some of the major features, but there are always a ton of them which they didn't show. So let me show you guys 30 hidden features of iOS 13. Let's start it off with the dock. So on the dock on iOS 13, if you move one of the icons out of the dock, it will space out the other one. So you can see right here, if I move that one out, they won't stick here in the middle, but they will space out and that makes it look way better. Now you probably know that on iOS 13, there's a new volume hood when turning up or down the volume. Of course, that feature has been rumored and it's here, but there is also a new notification when you switch the mute switch on and off. You can see right there, the ringer, and it will also show that it's on silent mode right there when you switch on the mute switch. On the cellular data now, you will have a new option. If you go to your settings, you go to cellular, then you will find this low data mode. What this does is that it will make your iPhone consume less data. So you can preserve your data, of course. So just switch it on from here. You probably know about the 150 megabytes limit that we have on the App Store when updating or downloading apps over cellular data. Apple increased it to 200, but now on iOS 13, you will have an option to download any file that you want of any size. Just click here, always allow, and it will allow you to download any update or any app over 200 megabytes. If you go to the clock app on iOS 13 and you start a timer, you will see now we have a new interface right here, which looks really cool. On iOS 13, now you don't have to shake your device to undo. All you gotta do is just double tap with three fingers like that and you will undo any text that you want. When you open Safari on iOS 13, and of course you will have here your favorites, you have your frequently visit, all the bookmarks, all that, you can go ahead and peek into those websites by force touching on them just like this. You can see it will show you a preview and you can open it in a new tab, edit it or delete it from here. On iOS 13, now Safari has an option that allows you to go full screen all the time. So all you gotta do is just tap right there at the letters and just go ahead and hide the toolbar. And as you can see, whether you scroll up or down, the toolbar will be hidden and you will have this nice full screen mode on Safari. You wanna get the toolbar back, just tap right there and it shows it back. If you go to your settings and you go to the battery section on iOS 13 and you go to battery health, now you will have a new option right here to optimize battery charging. Now what that will do is it will reduce battery aging. So the iPhone will learn from your daily charging routine so it can't wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use it. On the Photos app, when you go to Edit Photos now on iOS 13, you will have a new option. So you go to Edit Photos and you go to the Crop section. Now you will have there an option that allows you to flip pictures. This is really cool, especially for the selfies that you take with the front facing camera of the iPhone. You can flip them from here. There is a new section now on the settings app. So if you go to settings, you will have a new accessibility section right there. So all the accessibility stuff will be found right here, not under general as they used to be before. Something really interesting in the photos app is that there is no more camera roll. That's really interesting. So if you go to albums, you will see all your albums right here, but there will be no camera roll. And you will see here recently saved. I believe that's a new album. Now, if you want to see all your pictures, you got to go to photos right here and go to all photos, but you won't have any camera roll folder on the cam on the photos app. Now from the control center, if you go to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles right here, if you tap on them, force touch on them, even in the Wi-Fi and in the Bluetooth, you will have the option here to change Wi-Fi's or Bluetooth directly from here. On the Photos app, if you go to all of your photos, you will see a preview like this. You want to zoom in, you can pinch to zoom like this on the photo. So you want to take a closer look, you can always just use two fingers to to basically zoom in and to zoom out like this. So pinch in, pinch out to zoom on the photos. You can also do the same with the buttons right there at the top. So zoom in right here and zoom out right there. 
Now on the keynote, Apple did show this feature that I'm about to show you, but they showed it on the iPad and a lot of people believe that that will be a feature exclusive to the iPad, but you can use that feature on the iPhone as well. So you can drag to scroll right here on the iPhone. Let me just go to another page because this is black and I don't see the scroll right here. So you can see, you can tap right there, hold it, and you can use that to scroll on the page like this up and down very, very easily and pretty quick. On the wallpaper section on iOS 13, you will have a new option here to enable dark appearance, which will dim your wallpapers. Now, Apple has its stock wallpapers that will be different for light mode and dark mode, but if you add your own wallpaper, then this option right here, when enabled, will darken your wallpapers, even if they are not the Apple wallpapers, they will be dimmed when you have the dark mode enabled. Setting a wallpaper on iOS 13 will be a bit different. So you can see the UI here is different. Apple has redesigned it. So basically what you will have here is two buttons, cancel and set, and another button to fit the wallpaper to the screen. So if you have a larger wallpaper, that will make it fit on the screen way better. So you will have new options here at setting wallpapers. There are a few changes on the Shortcuts app as well. So if you go to the Shortcuts, you will see now the colors and the design of the Shortcuts are way different. They look much nicer, I believe much cleaner. They have like softer colors, which I really, really like. You have the plus button right there. If you tap here, tap here you can add actions and all that. And of course you can search for apps and action from here. On iOS 13, if you go to settings and go to accessibility, you will find zoom right here and you can enable it. Now with older iOS versions, this would show like, just like a window here, like a magnifier that will zoom. But with iOS 13, when you double tap with three fingers, it will zoom the complete screen. So you can see that completely zoomed in. And of course you can use three fingers right here to go ahead and just navigate, move through the zoom screen. Now, this will work anywhere you can see right here on the home screen, you can zoom and basically do everything zoomed here just with three fingers, just like this, anywhere on the iPhone, just triple, double tap with three fingers and you will be able to zoom. The share sheet on iOS 13 has also been redesigned. So here on the photos, you can see if you tap to share a photo, you will see like different options right here. So you can see all the apps where you can share, of course, the picture. And if you swipe up like this, you can copy the photo, add it to slideshow, to albums, create a watch face, uses wallpaper. You can see everything here has been redesigned. So we will have a list view right here of all the options. If you go to the App Store on iOS 13, you will see that the update button is missing right there. Now you will have an arcade section instead of the update section. Now, right here, it shows games, the arcade stuff of Apple, which will be available later. And basically the update section has been moved. Now, if you wanna to go to your updates, you will need to go to your profile. You can see right there the badge because I have an update. So once you tap right there and you go to your profile, right here you will find all the apps that you need to update. So going ahead and updating apps will be a bit more complicated. So go to the app store, go to your profile and find your apps to update from here. The dark mode on iOS 13 has an option that will allow you to automatically turn it on or off. So basically all you gotta do is just go to settings, go to display and brightness and enable automatic right there. And then you will have here two options, sunset to sunrise or a custom schedule, which you will choose right here. And then it will automatically switch between light mode and dark mode. Selecting text on iOS 13 will be much easier. Now you don't have to tap and tap again and tap select. You have only to tap once and drag your finger and you will be able to select any text you want. Way, way easier than doing it the old way with older iOS versions. On iOS 13, you will have a new option on the keyboard. Now, previously, if you want to switch between different languages and the, the emoji keyboard, then you will have to go through the same button. Now, you will have two different buttons. One right there is especially for the emojis and one right here to switch between languages. So you will have two separate buttons right there to easily switch between emojis and easily switch between different languages on the keyboard. 
On the mail app now you can go to different contacts that send you email and you can basically block them from here. So go to the contact and it will show you a pop up once you tap on the name of the contact and you will have here block this contact and easily block any contact that you want from the mail app. The screenshot UI has also been redesigned on iOS 13. Now you can see all the pencils, all the stuff right here has been redesigned and it looks quite different. Now it's much more detailed. You can see here everything is much more detailed and it looks way better. So you can see right here going to the color choose right there and you can see all the elements right here have basically been redesigned with way more details. If you go to your settings on iOS 13 and go to general, now you will have a section here called fonts and right here you will be able to add fonts to your iPhone. But basically we will have to wait for the fonts to appear on the app store. You will need to download them through the app store and then you will find them and manage them through the font section on the settings app. On Safari, if you tap right here, it shows you this pop-up which allows you of course to change the size of the font right there on the Safari page. That's really really awesome, way easier to, down, to basically change the size of the font using this feature. And then you will also have another feature which is website settings. So if you tap right here, it will show you the settings for this website. So you can request a desktop website so automatically will be done. So once you go to this website and you have this turned on, it will automatically go to the desktop side. And of course you can use reader automatically and you have all the, basically the stuff that you need to allow right here. And you can go ahead and change whether you, they, you want them to ask you or deny or allow from here. So that is it for this video guys, these are 30 plus new features that are on iOS 13 that basically Apple didn't show us. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did as it helps out a lot. Also don't forget to subscribe for, for more iOS 13 videos and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of them. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.